Okay, let's take a look at how instancing works. I already have a, a plane which I will be using as a terrain of 5 meters uh, aside, and I'm going to load some uh, flower props. So here I'm getting three some flowers, and uh, I will be adding uh, some hibiscus and. Uh, also some African lily, so three for each species. You see that I'm just adding this into the scene without uh, any regard of the position, rotation, etc. So when I load, uh, look at my hair and I import the terrain, what I'm doing here is uh, grow the hair, I'm going to use 200 centimeters. All right, so this is uh, the standard uh, uh, scale for each uh, instance this is the 100% of reference and uh, I'm going to tilt roots a little bit trigger the hair preview apply some random length and I'm not going to do any other uh, styling I'm just calling the export dialog and this time at geometry type I'm going to choose instance at geometry. I'll put a count of uh, 1500 uh, instances and I will be choosing all the props that I have available in the viewport. So they were a total of nine. And by last I will uh, tell uh, look at my hair to apply a random uh, rotation to the vertical axis of uh, each instance in order to get uh, a more diversified look. So when uh, the instances are created I get back to studio and uh, you see that we have uh, the guide represented here. Well now I'm just going to render. Okay so this is uh, the test render and uh, as you can see we have created a 1500 uh, instances by mixing uh, the available props in the studio viewport and so this is a very quick way to replace uh, hair with uh, props of your choice and uh, this will work on each model that you can load in uh, studio.